My name is April and I built this frame for uh, my off-grid cabin pretty much by myself with a little bit of help from some girlfriends uh, on some of the heavier parts and my three-year-old son was along for the ride so I'm going to show you a few clips of how uh, it all came together. At the beginning we had a rough lava rock surface and uh, had to smash down a lot of the rocks and put down deck blocks at this part my um, husband was involved and then we realized that we could not work together on this project much longer so most of the rest uh, after the initial base uh, i did by myself we used a temper and an oo bar to smash most of the rock here's where we had everything strung up and my son uh, using the tiny bit of dirt for his little trucks setting the posts and leveling uh, with string was a bit challenging but got it there Here's the base, all the posts are set, and we have the two runners going across. Those are four by fours in this case, because we have a pretty small uh, cabin. The whole frame is 16 by eight. Here it is with the joist going across, all two by fours. Um, so these are actually eight inch on center. Originally it was gonna be 16 on center, but uh, decided we need a little more structure in this. So um, added a few more to give it a little more strength. So here I uh, have most of the 2x6s on for a deck. Basically I'm going to make a 8x8 cabin and then an 8x8 deck attached to it. And this helps make sure that if it rains, um, a regular floor was getting pretty wet. So we ended up pulling up the regular floor and I ended up putting down 2x6s instead so it could drain through. And then eventually we'll put some flooring inside the cabin. Here's a shot of the finished deck. So I live about an hour away from the site and a lot of the prep I did at my house in the carport, cutting wood, prepping, kitting things, um, and driving it down. So definitely had to measure a bunch of times to make sure that everything would fit together uh, off site. And the cabin site has no electricity, no power, no utilities. So had to use just battery operated tools once I got there. So again, here's our starting point with the raw deck. Here I laid out the boards for the first wall frame. I'm marking the top and bottom plates together right here. I framed this wall without a nail gun, uh, just a hammer and nails. Got some inspiration from Larry Hahn videos on YouTube. Um, check them out, it's really inspiring. And uh, I would have used a nail gun, a battery operated, but I live on an island and there were none in stock, which means either waiting a long time or doing it by hand. So I did it hammer and nails. Here I moved the wall into position. Uh, I actually was going to wait for some help to raise the first wall, but I texted a friend this picture and she said, did you lift up the wall yet? And I said, uh, I'm gonna try right now. So I did uh, by myself. A little bit sketchy because it was um, higher off the side of the platform. I did have some braces in place as you can see, uh, but the wind picked up a little bit too. I was able to raise it though. Here I got the wall in place all by myself with just my three-year-old son in tow. Here's a shot of my plans on graph paper. Drew it all out uh, to make sure everything would line up. And one more shot of the first wall. Framing wall number two. Here I did have some help from my friend Yvonne. She's uh, all of four foot 11. And um, to get the second and third walls up the higher part of the platform, I just wanted to make sure if the wind picked up that I wouldn't lose them over the side. So she was a great help. Here's my son checking out the new doorway. So three walls up. Here's another snapshot of my plans. And another wall of my plans. I chose to do most on graph paper because I didn't want to pay um, or spend a lot of time on the computer uh, to do some plans. And I really wanted it customized to have a loft and uh, be pretty specific so I didn't use any pre-made plans. Here's my son getting into the action, helping me hammer the nails. The rafters on graph paper, it was definitely challenging to lay out and make sure that it would all fit together when I got down to the site. So I ended up just drawing it out on my driveway and setting out the wood, making sure everything kind of fit together on the real life size plans that I drew out. And it was really helpful later because I did include dormers and um, to measure out all of these things and just kind of do a fit check before I went down was extremely helpful to have it on the driveway.
Someday I'll refinish the driveway so you can't see all the marker marks. Here is with all four walls, and I added some joists across for the loft at seven feet high. Um, pretty simple loft there, um, but it was really helpful to have that to be able to put on the rafters from the loft. There's uh, me and my son up in the loft, and it's during the whole COVID-19 uh, challenges, and so that's why he's actually with me and not in preschool, and why I'm wearing a mask. So here I did have some help from my friend Kim this day to get the rafters up, the first couple of rafters and that ridge board up. Definitely challenging to hold a ridge board by yourself and make sure everything is in place and level. So um, I did create some braces there on both ends just to hold it and help us get it in place. Um, but that was also why I was wearing a mask because my friend Kim was there helping me as well and she was too. Um, so she and I plus my three-year-old and her two-year-old we're along for the ride and we were able to get the initial roof structure in place. Cutting more rafters since the first ones fit. Here's another shot with the first rafters, about to put up additional ones. I did use the Simpson ties, the rafter ties up there. I would not use those again. I actually um, prefer just to screw the rafters into the ridge board. I think it would have made for a better fit. So I really wanted windows in all four directions from the loft and I put two gable windows on the two ends and this is one of those and then I also did two dormers um, which you'll see in further clips. Here's a little bit of the layout that I used my sharpie for to make sure all the window and all the studs and everything lined up. More rafters and one of the dormer windows and one of the gable window frames uh, in place. So here you can see where my garage layout was really helpful. You can kind of see the lines for the original rafter down below, and this is the dormer rafter and how it all fits together. Another dormer window, the one that faces the ocean. As I mentioned, I prepped all of this uh, at my house about an hour away and loaded it up into the truck, um, tried to do some pre-assembly as well when I had the power tools at home. And then um, when I got to the site, I knew it would fit together. Here's a shot of the ocean-facing dormer um, and rafters. Looking out from the dormer window. And one more angle view of the dormer. Here I have both dormers finally in place and both gable windows, just finishing some of the framing in the gable area. Here's some of my gable framing. Nothing is perfect here, but uh, learning as I go. I did some kind of mini collar ties up at the top, even though uh, they're not extremely structural. It helped assembling the double sets of rafters for the dormers and the regular rafters, and then also just a little extra security against the ridge board. Here's my loft ladder. I just uh, assembled it right against the studs, two by fours, and made it nice and easy. My son already a little climber um, heading up to the loft. A view from the loft down the ladder. Here you can see the outriggers. I didn't do an extremely long outrigger. Um, it's just barely outside the frame of the house for the outside rafters. Um, didn't need a really large overhang. Here I added the fascia across. And one more shot of me with the outriggers. And here's just from the outside again how it's coming together. And it was a little bit of a cloudy day, but here you can see pretty much the finished framing uh, about ready to start with the roofing right after this and um, the deck you know you can see those boards on the deck the uh, plywood that's what I'm going to use on the roof to keep things a little bit warmer but that'll be a next video one more shot of the finished framing here and you can see the boards that I lifted up I'm actually going to be putting those on the roof after trimming them down so excuse those being in the way but you can at least see pretty much the finished framing of the cabin so even though my husband was not working with me on this whole project, um, he did find a Mother's Day card in the middle of all of this that uh, is my little cabin on the hill, he said. So thought that was kind of cute. And finally, here's the finished framing. Definitely some hard work and a lot of uh, mental stretching to get here. My son was a champ, and thanks again to uh, Yvonne and Kim for helping out with some of the heavier parts. Um, and then the next video will be on to my roofing. But for now, hope you enjoyed this little journey. Definitely possible uh, for anyone to frame their own little cabin.